Okay, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a March favorites. It's my very first favorites ever on my channel. I've never done a favorites video, so I'm not even going to talk more about it. I'm just going to get straight into it. I am going to do this into like a two-part video because I have March favorites, but then I also have like a what I recently bought stuff and I thought I was going to do these together but I think I'm going to divide it into two videos just because I don't want them to be super super long so anyway I'm just going to dig right in and start talking so first thing that I see in my bag is my Clinique All About Eyes Rich Eye Cream I have been obsessed with this this month I use it non-stop I use it in the morning I use it at night it is such a nice eye cream it is not heavy at all on my eyes it claims to reduce circles puffs circles and puffs I think it I should be reading the box reduces circles shadows puffs and lines and you apply it in the morning and afternoon like you would any eye cream and I am bad at this we go. I've been using quite a bit of it and I don't know I just have been really liking this eye cream this month. This next thing I bought at Walmart it is the Garnier Micellar, I don't know how to pronounce that, cleansing water and I got the pink one. This removes makeup, cleanses and refreshes your face. Um, and it's for all skin types, even sensitive. So I had heard a lot about this and recently I wanted to try a different, um, my mind just went blank, a different like makeup remover. And I had seen this all over Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, whatever. I had seen it everywhere. So I wanted to try it and I have been liking it. Only thing about this product is I sometimes have trouble removing waterproof eyeliner, waterproof mascara, etc. And then later on, after using this, I found out that's what the blue one is for, for any waterproof eyeliner, waterproof eye makeup, whatever it may be. That's what that one is for. So if you do wear waterproof makeup, I suggest getting the blue one. That's the one I'm going to get next. But overall, I have been really liking this. It is refreshing like it says. And the thing that I love about this product is it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily. I've tried other makeup removers that just, it, your face just feels gross afterwards. I don't know if that made sense or if it's just me, but I don't like how it feels afterwards. And this one, I love. I freaking love love it next I have another like skincare stuff this is one of my holy grails in my skincare routine I love this I have repurchased it over and over and I'm probably going to continue repurchasing it forever this is the body shop tea tree skin clearing lotion so it's a lightweight hydration with shine control for clear looking skin infused with tamanu oil I don't think I pronounced that right but this thing I freaking love. I love, love, love. This is the one thing like I will not skip no matter what in my skincare routine. It is such a refreshing facial lotion. It does, it's like sinks straight into your skin and it just leaves it feeling so, so good. And it is a clearing lotion. So whenever I have any blemishes, whenever I have annoying, frustrating pimples, this guy right here is my best friend. I actually have one little friend that's hanging out right here. It, what can we call him? A hormonal friend, a friend that visits me once a month, if that made any sense. And so I applied this like right away with an oil, with a tea tree oil, um, which is good for acne and it has dried that sucker up. So I really, really love this. It is always a favorite just this month I have noticed how much more I freaking love it this month I have been loving my glam glow super mud clearing treatment mask that was a mouthful and I've talked about it before so I'm not gonna talk about it too much but it's this guy the white one love this this is also a clearing one um yeah it's a clearing treatment I like clear skin so really really been loving this I love everything about this mask it's not the first time I use it but again 
this month I have really, really been into my skin, I guess. So I really have been loving this one. I said really a lot. Like, I really want you guys to know how much I liked it. <laughs> Next is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. The Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is definitely a favorite for me this month. I... To set my face before, I always use a pressed powder, and I think it was, I don't even remember what it was. But I started seeing all these other things about loose powders and setting with loose powder, setting your under eye with loose powder. And I saw people talking about the air spun, and for me to try, oh, oops. For me to try a face a loose powder like for the first time I wanted to try something that wasn't too expensive this is a drugstore one and it is amazing I really really love it I think I talked about it before but I don't know I have been liking this I use it all the time to set my face and I have noticed a difference this guy right here has been a big favorite for me the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, another favorite. I didn't believe in this stuff. I was like a primer water, like really, what is it going to do for me? I'm just spritzing water on my face. Um, but anyway, I have been applying this sometimes when I want to do a light makeup. I don't want to like overly do my makeup, if that made any sense, and I don't want a lot of layers. I will spray this all over my face and go ahead and do my makeup and I really like how it looks, I like how it feels, and I use it also as a setting powder. So this is a travel size one, I'm like up to here on it. And Ulta was actually having their 21, um, hold on, this eyelash is like buggy. Ulta was having their 21 Days of Beauty, I believe it's called, sale. And so this guy is like the travel size one. I got this at Sephora for I think $14 or $16, I don't remember. And Ulta for their 21 Days of Beauty had the full size one for that same price, like $16 I think. So I went down to Ulta and I got me the big bottle and I have yet to use it because I'm finishing my little travel size one first. Um, but just goes to show this was really a favorite for me this month. I really, really like this stuff and yeah, primer water, you guys should check it out because it is good. An oldie but a goodie. It is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I, um, before this I was raving a lot about the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I'm actually wearing that today. Uh, I was trying out other foundations as well and I was cleaning my little like area where I do my makeup the other day and I have a lot of foundations sometimes that I have bought used and I didn't continue using and I think I have one like right behind me right now this guy right here the Tarte Amazonian clay one I need to get back to using this because this is like completely full and I have heard such great things about it but I can't seem to get myself to keep using it I don't know why that is gold, but this is not a favorite right now. Just got sidetracked. Um, L'Oreal, though, the True Match Foundation. I saw this guy there, and I was like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been using it again? And so I started using it, and for like the last two weeks, this is what I have been reaching for nonstop. This is such a good foundation, especially for drugstore. I'm sure everyone already knows this, but definitely, definitely a favorite this month. I actually need to go purchase more because I think... I think I'm almost out of this one. Next is probably by far one of my most favorites this month. It is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I have been wanting to get this for such a long time. I don't know why it took me so long. I ended up getting the Makeup Forever one, and the Ultra HD Concealer, instead of this one, but I don't know why I did that. This for sure is my favorite. I got the shade Light Neutral. I freaking love this concealer. I just love it. Like, it applies so nicely. It blends out beautifully. I like the little applicator tip. It is just such a good concealer. It does not crease on me. The Makeup Forever one, I think, i pretty sure I heard it wasn't supposed to crease on you, but it would crease on me, and I wouldn't like the coverage. The color selection wasn't the best. 
I do like, damn it, I do like that concealer, but the Naked, um, the Urban Decay Naked one is my favorite. Um, it probably is my favorite of all time now. Before this one, I think my favorite of all time was the NARS Radiance Creamy Concealer, but this one, oh my gosh, it has stolen my heart this month. The last few things are like all liners, so let's get to it. The first one is the Marc Jacobs High Liner Gel Pencil, I think it's called. This one I got from Sephora as a the birthday gift they gave for this year. And I'm out of it and I'm so sad because it is my favorite, so now I need to go buy a the full size one. Uh, but this one was my go-to liner this month to tight line my eyes. Um, I have had trouble finding a good eyeliner to tight line with because it'll transfer sometimes, it'll smudge, it looks ugly. This one didn't and it goes on so smoothly. I freaking am obsessed with this Marc Jacobs liner and I can't wait to go and buy the full size one. Next is a eyeliner like that I use on the top. This is the L'Oreal. 12 hour infallible the super slim liquid liner really really love this guy it has like a felt tip it's super sharp like you can get a really fine line with this and i really like it my friend we were going out one night and i was doing my makeup and then i decided to do an eyeliner but i forgot gel liner whatever it was and she had this in her little bag shout out to you erin um and I fell in love with it that day, so I went and I bought it. I think I even Snapchat at her when I was at the store, making sure this was the exact same one I used that day. And I've been really, really liking this eyeliner for the top of my eye. <laughs> These babies right here. I don't even know how to begin to describe these. These are the Jordana Easy Liner for lips, so the lip liner, I guess you would say. It's a retractable pencil. I grabbed three, the first three I found when I was in my room. I have more. I think I almost have all of them at this point. I just grabbed like the nude ones right now. I am currently wearing on my lips is this guy. It's called Pink Love. Oh my gosh. I did, like, I don't even, I don't know. I just love these lip liners. I can't stop buying them. They're under $3. I get mine at Walgreens. They're under $3. Um, retractable. I hate sharpening pencils, so I like that I don't have to be sharpening these. I discovered these through Carly Bible a few years ago. She was like her signature lip was like the Tawny lip liner from Jordana Cosmetics. So I bought Tawny. I actually repurchased Tawny the other day. And then and then one of my favorite is Rock and Rose. It is like a nice nude color. And then today to be a little bit more springy, just a little bit, because I love my neutrals. I am wearing the pink love. So yeah, Jordana lip liners are Definitely some of my March favorites. It's all I've been wearing on my lips. So that is it for my March favorites. Um, I didn't have a lot of stuff this month that was like, ooh, super favorite. But these were my favorites or things that I was using every single day. Things I kept reaching for this month. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing more favorites videos in the future. But... Yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.